So some weeks ago, Mickey complained about having pain in his wrist, actually both at the same time. And we took him to two specialists who had kind of similar but also different diagnosis. So he gets um, a special treatment now. But this also means that in the last two weeks, it means the week before uh, Rock and SK Games, we had to cut down a lot in terms of scrimming, with him especially. That means we took the Mondays off completely to give him more time to rest. He doesn't play solo queue. Thankfully, we're blessed with having a good round robin. That means we had the luxury of saying, okay, we're gonna take time off actually, relax a bit, um, not be as efficient in practice just to give him the time to rest. I started feeling pain back in December when I was still at home, but it was just like kind of mild pain. It was just like kind of annoying. It wasn't really hurting that much. But then uh, ever since then it's been like just low key pain. And then one month ago it started hurting a bit more. So then I actually started doing something about it. Because before that I was just like doing some wrist exercises and that was about it. I think the pain started becoming unbearable around the week where we played SK. I think, I think a week before that, so yeah, back then I, I decided I should probably treat it a bit more seriously because I started to get more worried because it was been going on for quite a while. So I stopped playing solo queue entirely and just played like two games of scrims per day. So just to see how much I can actually play before it starts hurting too much. Since the Vitality game I haven't played a single game. And I'm just kind of resting and doing like physio appointments and stuff like that. I got in touch with G2 like two or three weeks ago, where they basically just asked what I was doing or if I was available to, you know, sign with a team or just help them out. And they just like briefed me that uh, Mickey X had some wrist issues. Uh, and I just took the chance because I thought it was like a great opportunity for me to get to play, like not only get to play because I haven't played for in a team in, in months, but also to play with like the best players in Europe. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it was a very easy choice for me as soon as I, I got the offer or like the opportunity. Uh, but that's just basically how it went. Uh, at first, I maybe wasn't supposed to play on stage as well with the team, but uh, yeah, it just turned out to be, so I'm happy for that as well. I just thought he would be good enough because whenever I played against him in solo queue, he was one of the better supports that I played against, like at least laning phase-wise. And uh, I already knew from before when he played in previous teams that he was like kind of the main shot caller in his previous teams. So like I think he's a bit underrated by the community because he played in like kind of bad teams beforehand. It's the only way. But now you're, you're it's like grabbing a mouse what you're doing right now. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't do it, you have to hold it like this. Just put it on the, the edge of the plate and just... The entire just chicken, mm -hmm. you have to hold like this. <laughs> you have to eat only with your mouth. Please. But you have to put the plate on the table because you're using your wrists holding the plate. True. Sure. I'm doing like this. There we go. Oh. We cracked it. <laughs> Did you win? <laughs> you seem like you lost. Uh, so in the history that is this game, these teams have met 33 times before. 18-15 in favor of G2. It's the fourth Baron and now G2, they're gonna teleport I think in it's the Baron. And this, I think, is the sixth. I don't know. Either way. It doesn't way. matter, because it's already been started up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Baron going, they double mountains are the target. That's oh, hard. G2 pushing mid. They have their Baron Warping. Their Baron Warping in. G2 are no. going for the base. The Baron buff, though. They can get the recalls. How many can they stop? G2, you've got to stop them all. You've got to stop them all. They're in the base. G2 are looking for the web. Can they pull it off? The Baron Warp. Once again, the web player comes out. They play through the Nexus. Oh, no. Oh, no. The next is Towers at the middle side, G2, get the first one, but Red has an inner side, get in the back door! Oh, oh my god! Let's go! Flip me away! You can do that to them! 
guys, but you know what is yeah, this? My bad. Yeah, guys, <laughs> but this is for the storylines. Fnatic beat G2, and now G2 is going shaking to playoffs. Yeah. Can they actually make it? <laughs> or it's gonna be their, uh, the repeat of Spring Suit? Yeah. But listen to me. I know that if I go finals is down lane and still go 15 minutes into the game, I'm not losing next three times. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully we don't lose next 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 time. So shadow? Actually, actually, <laughs> actually over, like he lost, <laughs> like he actually lost. 1-1. One, one. <laughs> no, it's 1-0. <laughs> it's, <one, zero. laughs> it's actually 1-1. One, one. Actually 1-0. 1-0. <laughs> actually, like, I'm actually breaking his confidence. Yesterday, Cedar vs. LeBlanc. Wait, but I actually won it. Tito versus a blank, and now he's losing again. Like I don't Wait know. Wait a second! I actually wanted because I actually killed the king. Actually, it's playoffs perks. <laughs> I actually killed the king. <laughs> you also really fucking in this. You go check Vader. Go again. Go again. You go check Vader. This time I won't. This time I won't let you live. This time I won't let you live if I kill you. Just so you know. Yeah. This time we play with, with real rules. Yeah. Sure. No second chances. Yeah, sure. And if you have sure, pathetic, yeah. pathetic candy, you will not sure, yeah. get to live. You can go first, because you lost. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, I'll take this. Oh, wait, it's like a 50-50. It's like <laughs> maybe it's his, maybe it's yours. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wildest game I've seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> And it doesn't make any sense. Do you guys just like make up the rules on the on the go or? No, it's uh, it's Chinese chess. I w yeah, it's Chinese chess. It's like four piece chess. Nothing too out of the woodwork. You don't expect G2 to show anything going into playoffs. They've already secured their spot as number one, so they're going to Rotterdam at very least, and they want to keep everything close to the chest. Hansama. The Mivinson has the ultimate as well. Hansama opens up, but the ultimate, the unleashed power to the face of Perks, the shutdown as well. So as jumps forward, and you have to think this is game over for G2. The first O2. I mean, I don't think the last West Fnatic is a worry. <laughs> I think it's a worry for them, honestly, that they, they could not close out the, the game with, with the lead like I gave them, and uh, the what well, we gave them, right? Uh, I think. I think, I mean, obviously it's, it sucks to lose a close game like that. It was a really hype game. It was really fun. It's uh, definitely like, it was a fun game, right? Um, but I'm not really worried. Also, obviously we're not happy when we lose, right? It's always sucks to lose. Um, but we made it very clear that uh, at the start of the week, we would not, like we would put, put less effort in scrims, and not in scrims, but we would like play less games and we would prepare less just so that we are uh, refreshed when we come into playoffs and when and we have more energy to give. Uh, so we made it very clear that we should not be upset about the week's results and I think now we're going to take a few days break and then once we start practicing the playoffs we're, we're going to be at our best. I'm quite disappointed with the, with the week obviously because like, G2 has been like dominating the league. They were like 13-3 I think before I arrived and now they're 13-5 which means I went 0-2. Uh, so I'm like sad about that part because you obviously don't want to be like a liability to the team uh, but I don't feel like it's like just my fault that we lost the games as well. Uh, I think I could have played better for sure, but I think that goes for everyone. So I'm disappointed with the results. I'm slightly disappointed with my own performance, especially against Misfits. But I'm just uh, excited to continue screaming uh, and like play against, uh, continue playing against really good teams in Europe and continue playing with a really good team because uh, I think I will learn a lot from it. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, sure. I'm like I'm really hyped to just get a chance, you know. I think everyone took it pretty well, even though it was our first 0-2 week. It didn't actually feel like we went 0-2, since we were already locked first, and we went into the week with like less preparation and less practice. So we didn't really expect that much from this week. Our expectations weren't that high. And uh, the Fanatic game, for example, we like all of us kind of thought it was 
really lost in the first 20 minutes, but then since the game went on to like 40 minutes and we almost won it, then we were actually kind of happy with the game and we actually took it like kind of as a win because I think if we meet in playoffs, I don't think they can win actually three games against us because they barely won one game.